Hello everyone, I'm Riley if you're new to the channel and today we are starting our buying and selling series with episode number one and today we're going to talk about why I decided to sell my condo after five years and a lot of you might be thinking five years that's not a lot of time Riley and I would absolutely agree with you it's not it's a very short period of time it's probably the minimum amount of time that I would say that you should hold on to a property to really um, see your equity grow and, and get any capital gains out of it. Um, main reason for saying this is once you pay land transfer taxes, commissions, legal fees, that can cut into any equity that you might have gained over the past couple of years. Um, so unless you're experiencing really, really strong appreciation, uh, you need at least five years to kind of build yourself a buffer of building up enough equity that once you pay all of those fees, uh, that you're still uh, gaining something at the end of the day. And so. The reason that we moved is uh, for three main reasons, actually. Uh, and the first being that we wanted more space. Uh, when I bought the condo five years ago, I was just a single guy. And the one plus den, 640 square feet, was plenty of room for me. I had my office, I had my living space, it was all good. I didn't cook that much, so I didn't need a big kitchen. Uh, and that was totally fine. Uh, but at the beginning of COVID, my fiance moved in, which was fantastic. It was, it was great. It was the best thing that could have happened at the beginning of COVID. And uh, we quickly realized, though, that we needed more space. And this uh, was because she was doing school from home and I was mostly working from home as well. So if I was on a call at my desk and she was on a call at her desk, we could hear each other and vice versa. And it was, uh, it was not great. It was not the most conducive environment. So that was uh, reason number one is that we just wanted more space. And additionally, we wanted some outdoor space because we didn't have a balcony and you know, during COVID, having any sort of outdoor space would have been really nice. So more space was reason number one on why we decided to move after five years. Okay, so the second reason that we decided to sell is that we wanted to have more natural light and we wanted to have a view. The condo that we were living in, uh, in Distillery District, uh, was in a phenomenal area, but the unit that we had was on the third floor, facing onto the street, and it faced towards a auto dealership's parking lot. Uh, so not a great view, and then there was a, um, a big building just opposite that, that was a data center. So just a big wall right in front of us. So uh, really no view, and because we were north facing, we didn't really get any direct sunlight until you know, peak summer months when the sun comes up a bit further to the north. But beyond that, we really didn't get any natural light. And uh, if I'm being honest, this was a bit of a downgrade from all of the places that I had lived in previously, uh, places that I'd rented for the past five years in different areas around Toronto, all had really great natural light and most of them had really great views. There was one place that I lived at, I was on the 44th floor southwest view over Lake Ontario in right frame to the CN Tower. It was pretty spectacular. So it was a big jump to go from that to staring at a brick wall and a parking lot. Um, so that was something that we realized was a very important aspect of our criteria for our new place is we wanted more natural light, more direct natural light, and uh, a great view. And reason number three that I decided to sell after five years was that I wanted to capitalize on the fact that there was very, very little inventory, especially for one plus dens in distillery district in the price point that I was going to be listing at, at that time. Um, uh, you always want to sell when there's less inventory because less competition always makes your place look better. Um, so there's a couple of factors that I looked at to really you know, come to this decision. Uh, but it, come, it really came down to the fact that I wanted to see what new construction projects were happening in the surrounding area and whether those could impact me at all. Um, the reason why is because new construction condos, they usually uh, you know, load a couple hundred condos onto the market almost all at once, right? And that adds inventory that wasn't there before and that can have an impact on older buildings like mine, uh, where you know, someone will compare the two of them and say, you know, maybe this, this new one is a little bit better than that old building, I don't have to do the repairs or whatever it is. Um, so I, there was a couple of uh, projects that were scheduled for completion in 2022 and 2023. Um, so I didn't really want to wait around for those to finish and see what would happen to the market. Um, so I really wanted to capitalize on the fact that there was really no competition for me to sell at that time. Um, so made it kind of easy. Uh, you always you know, 
want to choose the path of least resistance when selling. So that was the path that I went down. And so those are the three main reasons on why I decided to sell after five years. More space, more natural lighting to get a view, and to capitalize on the fact that there was very low inventory for the product that I was going to be selling or the home that I was going to be selling. So on our next episode, we're going to talk about uh, should you buy or sell first? Um, it's a really, really tough question to answer. There's no one right answer, but I'm going to share with you my experience and why I decided to do what I did. So make sure you stay tuned uh, for that one. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. It helps the YouTube algorithms and make sure you subscribe to stay tuned on uh, the whole series that's coming out. So I will talk to you guys on the next one. Bye.